Hi everyone. Welcome to our presentation, Opening Education for Social Justice, Student Perspectives. I'm Jennifer Van Allen, an Assistant Professor of Literacy Education. I'm joined today by my colleague Stacy Katz, an Assistant Professor and Open Education Resources Librarian, and students from a course I'm teaching titled Open for Social Justice. We are proud to join you today from the United States and represent Lehman College in the City University of New York. Our goal in this presentation is to allow our undergraduate students the opportunity to share what they think is important about ed open education and social justice, particularly for their classes. In thinking about open education, what we're considering is these um, ideas put forth by Dr. Mahabali, about a belief of openness and sharing to improve learning and a social justice orientation, caring about equity with openness as one way to achieve this. In this way, sort of openness is in service to social justice. And we're looking at this through the lens of also Dr. Sarah Lambert in that um, openness and social justice, thinking about the um, principles she's applied from uh, Fraser talking about redistributive, recognitive, and representational justice. So redistributive justice about textbooks or courses or resources for learners who can't afford them. Recognitive justice where um, there's diversity in the open curriculum and where there's different rep recognition of different diverse experiences, um, as well as representational justice where those who aren't normally represented are able to actually speak for themselves and create resources themselves. So in this way, openness is in service to social justice, not sort of the other way around, um, with sort of social justice as an end goal, rather than thinking about openness as the end goal, although open is obviously critical to what we're doing here. Um, so these open practices um, follow these ethos of kind of sharing to improve learning as well as a social justice orientation. Lehman College is part of the City University of New York, which is a public institution in the United States in New York, uh, New York City. And it is a Hispanic serving institution, which is a federal designation that more than 25% of the students are um, Hispanic or Latino. And you can see, according to this, our undergraduate and graduate student populations meet um, that requirement. We serve a lot of first generation college students. Um, we also serve a lot of students with high socioeconomic needs. In 2017, nearly 40% of CUNY students came from households that earned less than $20,000 per year. So you can understand why um, redistributive justice and why open education has taken sort of that form in our population um, as a need for um, access to course materials and access to resources. Um, but we're also looking at sort of other elements of social justice of, you know, recognitive and representational social justice in order to have students both represented in their course materials and tell their own stories in, um, in OER. Um, but this just gives you an idea of some of the demographics, um, really representative in a lot of ways of the population um, and of the, you know, representing a lot of the Bronx. Um, which is where Lehman College is located in New York, um, which is the lowest socioeconomic um, borough in New York City, um, kind of sandwiched between actually Manhattan uh, below us and Westchester above us, which were two of the highest socioeconomic sort of um, well-off places in the city, although Westchester is a different county. But anyhow, that's your little New York geography. Thank you. The students you will hear from on the next few slides are all undergraduate students from freshmen to seniors. As an honors class, they represent a variety of disciplines from food and nutrition to business and speech and early childhood education. To view the syllabus for the course, scan the QR code in the upper right-hand corner of the slide. But 
Here's a bit more about the course. During the course, we've participated in a variety of open practices, including social annotation of weekly readings through Hypothesis, blogging, and co-creation of the syllabus by selecting the readings we want to work with each week and having the students design the final project. Throughout the course, we have discussed open education and social justice with a variety of speakers close to home and from afar. Many thanks to Dr. Sarah Lambert, Dr. Maha Bali, Dr. Shauna Brandle, Dr. Heather Micelli, and Nicole Williams for their time. While still ongoing, the course explored basic principles of open education, and students began to define what openness meant to them individually. We then completed a unit on interrogating open and collaboratively designed an OER evaluation rubric that places social justice and equity at the forefront. The students then evaluated an OER of their choosing using the rubric. We hope to op openly publish the rubric and the student reviews soon. We are currently in our final unit where we are examining the state of open education in our local community and globally with a goal of becoming student advocates for open education. This is one part of our journey. Students were invited to share their perspectives in this conference presentation. We invite you to interact with us on the following slides by viewing this presentation on VoiceThread. VoiceThread is an interactive online application that lets viewers comment on presentations. Please follow the link posted on this slide and in the OER22 program. Once there, you can review the introductory slides we just presented and continue on to hear our students' perspectives. We encourage you to add your own thoughts and ask questions by posting a comment. To post a comment, locate the bubble with the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. You will be prompted to sign into VoiceThread or register for a new account. Follow the steps to do so. Once you are logged in, add a comment by clicking on one of the icons in the comment bubble. You can select a text comment, audio comment by phone or your device's microphone, or a video comment with your device's camera. If you do not want to create an account, feel free to email me with your comment and slide number, and I will post it for you on the presentation. We look forward to interacting with you in the voice thread.